no contact after you break up with someone. I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but I keep hearing it over and over again. No contact, no contact. But how do you feel about no contact? I'm just going to break it down to you right now. No contact? Yeah, obviously. If you're thirsty, should you drink water? If you're drowning, should you get out of the pool? If you're hungry, should you eat a chicken sandwich? The answer is yes, and yes, if you end it with someone, you should go no contact. My thing is, why is this even a conversation? Like, why are we even giving it the time of day? Like, that's like, oh, if someone burns down your house, you should invite them to your birthday party. Obviously not. Just this man hurt you in such a deep way. Or maybe you hurt him. Either way, y'all are hurt. So why are we prolonging that hurt? Oh, but I miss him and it's hard and it's difficult and da 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 da. Guess what? It's also hard to get in shape. It's also hard to get on a diet plan. Yes, we want to eat cheesecakes all day, but guess what? That's why we do a diet so we could feel better. I don't care if it feels good. I don't care if you miss him. That's where discipline comes in. That is right, discipline. Discipline is key. This is why you are growing as a human being. This is why heartbreak is difficult because the easy thing to do is just to run back to this person or pretend you forgot a toothbrush or pretend you have to reach out for them for something or I really need closure. Yeah, don't. You're prolonging the inevitable and that is your healing process. You're still at the club and it's been closed and the custodian is sweeping around your feet. You are prolonging the hurt, girl. Get in the car and go to where you need to go and get out of Delulu land because it is not serving you. Look, I get you had an emotional connection and that's real. That's real, real. But in order for things to regrow, they must first break. In order for the break up to break up, it needs to end. And you need the perspective away from the other human being to gain clarity of why it ended in the first place. If you're thinking all the great things and all the wonderful things and you need the support system to help you through a transition without them, that is clearly defeats the purpose of your healing process. You have to be the one to help you through this process. He is no longer your pleasure response. He is no longer your safety. You are now on a path for you to be your safety, you to be your pleasure response, you to have you. And that is why we do the no contact, because you need to learn to have you again. And by creating a new culture of learning to have you, even through the hard moments, you gain confidence in yourself to fill the void for yourself, to be reflective and to gain the confidence of yourself because you lost yourself while you're with this person. Now you get to regain it. And this is the beauty of heartbreak and the beauty of the healing process. And this is why we should go no contact. But it's hard, I don't care. And if you need help with that healing journey, if you need help with post breakup, post divorce, and you're looking for the next stage of your life, you need guidance and a community and fun and confidence, and you wanna learn that through multiple skills and challenges, link in the bio about to launch my eight week coaching program, only a few spots left. Book a free call to learn more.